All right, hopefully it's all working. I think it's all working. Hello, good morning, everyone. I, I do that greeting because most of my fans are in Turkey. So welcome everybody in Turkey. Hopefully you're, you guys are still awake. Looks like it's about 9, 9 p.m. tonight. Uh, maybe you guys are all in bed already, but you know, if you're not, that's great. Um, I'm glad to see you. And if you are, you can always watch this later. There's a VOD. So, uh, I'm going to be playing 40 golfer. I'm going to be trying to. Hey, cat, welcome. Glad you guys are still, are still, uh, hanging around. I'm going to be playing 4D golf. Herba I, are you, cat, are you in Turkey? I think you are, right? Pretty sure you're in Turkey. Anyway. Um, 4D Golf. So let's get the screen adjusted and let's see if this works. Push play. Hey, amazing. First try. All right. Sup, Murdermer? Uh, how's the volume level? It's a little bit loud for me. Or maybe that's just on my end. How's it sound for you guys? Here, just fine. This is pretty cool. Look at that. All right, start tutorial. Here we go. It's very responsive. It started up super fast. Welcome, human. Cosmodius, multi-dimensional exchange program. Okay. Yep, sort of. The volume level is sort of good. I can change it. I give you a hug, but unfortunately, I'm being made of pure energy and you'd be instantly disintegrated. Your pure views is very charming. I'm very excited to learn about us higher dimensional beings. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Very, uh, very presumptuous of you, but okay. Yeah, it looks like the, the volume level is a little weird. I'll help you get up to speed. Let's begin your training in the sacred art of something or other miniature golf. Of course. Oh, you're still alive, Murderbird. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. First hole. Hole one, par two. Welcome to 40 Golf. Your training will begin with a more primitive dimension. Walk to the crystal for more guidance. Move around with Waz and look around with the mouse. All right. Oh, oh that's a little bit... That's a little bit, uh... Laggy. Okay. When you're ready, press spacebar to start put putting and you'll be teleported to the ball. To explore again, simply start walking. If you ever lose sight of the crystal, press C to find it. Okay. So I press C and it just you look toward the crystal. That's great. Oop. So here I am with the ball, but if I move around, can I go off the course? Can't go off the course. Okay. What is going on? Cat, this is 4D golf. So you can see here, there's some there's some trees that are kind of ghosted, and that's because they're in the fourth dimension, and uh, and some of them are, are fully present, like this tree right here. Press spacebar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I'm explaining to my my viewers, my guys. Uh, anyway, all this is in fourth dimension. All right, spacebar. To put, hold down spacebar and use the mouse to hit the ball. You can also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Other putting modes are available. Okay. So I can hold spacebar and hit the ball. There we go. Did it. Oh, I, can, I can swing back more. I want to aim. All right. So I hold down spacebar. There we go. Hey, got it on par. And there's my score sheet. Great. Where's the hole? Hole two, par three. Okay, now it's time to open your third eye here in the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is not time, but a new direction of space. Imagine four dimensions. Let's think about the lower dimension first. This 2D eyeball lives in a 2D universe as only as 1D vision scans the world. But if the 2D eye was dropped into a 3D world, it would be able to rotate its 1D vision in new ways. However, 3D objects would appear and disappear from view. Yeah, good, good. The eye would also be able to move in a new direction, but it would still be perceiving the world in 
the 3D world in slices of in 2D slices, yes. In four dimensions, your 3D eyeball can also move into a new direction called Anna and Kata. Your eye will also have new ways to rotate. This will cause your 3D slice of the world to change. Move in the fourth dimension with Q and E, Anna and Kata. Hold left click with a mouse to look around in 4D. Walk to the crystal for more info. All right, so here I am walking around in normal old 3D. Uh, I've got to I've got to change the the mouse sensitivity here. Mm, style camera smoothing. Oh yeah, let's turn that down. That is getting kind of annoying. Um. Uh, is there a mouse sensitivity somewhere? No. Physical putting, metered putting. So many different, so many different options. Ghosting, ghost opacity, the volume line. Oh, let's enable the volume line. Okay, graphics, key mapping. Is there a way to change my, my mouse, mouse sensitivity? No. All right, well, that's better. I'll just... Just try that. All right, so here we are in four dimensions. Um, C to look at the crystal. Compass on Earth only rotates in a single 2D plane since the Earth's surface is locally flat. But in four dimensions, the 3D compass is needed to navigate because the flat surfaces are in three dimensions. You have a compass like this in your upper right corner. There it is. Size north, south, east, and west. There are two new cardinal directions, Anth and Kenth, for Anna and Kata. So, I can rotate my, my camera in four dimensions like this. I'm going sideways right now. And I can also go up and down. And I can also move in four dimensions. So here I am moving in four dimensions. There's the hole. Oh, I found it. All right, so now I'm on the same plane as the hole, but now the ball is in a different dimension get it like over here somewhere so what if I'm on the wrong plane from the crystal if I press C oh nice oh my now it aligns me with the crystal that's cool okay all right so um, press space now I'm on the plane with a ball, but I want to rotate my dimensional apparatus so that it lines up with a hole. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're lined up. Nice. Oh, I see. And it's it's exactly with West being up, and uh, so it's on the anth calf plane here. All right. There we go. So now, I want to bounce it off uh, this wall, probably. There we go. And now I should be able to line up in four dimensions. Perfect. Oh, oh, didn't quite get it. Oh no, and now it's bouncing into the fourth dimension. Realign ourselves here. We want to get back in alignment. There we go. Oh no! Bogey. <laughs> My eyes. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool? All right. So we got it in in four. Just because we didn't hit the ball hard enough. Bumpers. Okay. Now we're an essential tool to navigate in 4D. Explain how it works. Let's try it in a lower dimension. This tool brings your eye down to the track and then tilts it into a new dimension. The walls of the track now appear to surround you. Okay. In a 4D world, the walls look to you like a 3D box, and since the gravity direction isn't in the slice anymore, 
It appears like you're floating when you're actually walking. This perspective is called volume view. In volume view can help you see the 3D shape of flat courses. Use it frequently to help you navigate. Press V to toggle volume view. You can also put in this view, walk to the crystal for more info. All right, so here we've got this crazy course here and it's got some stuff. And if you press V, now we're inside the volume. So here's the ball. And this is all a flat course. So none of this is, none of this is, uh, Whoops. Volume. So, so none of this is actually in 3D space. This is all... I tried to press space to jump, but that doesn't work. There's the hole. Alright, so here's the hole. We want to get to there from here. So we want to bounce up that way. Hi, Ramans, Ram, Ramza, Ramzan. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Spacebar. Okay. So we want to go um, in the Anna direction. Let's see. Oh, I see. And this is rotating. Oh, and there's my volume line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now I see what, what they meant by the volume line. So you see the red line across the screen here. So this is the direction I want to go. I want to go up that way. But that bumper is angled at the wrong direction. So I think I actually want to putt that way. I think I actually want to putt like this. So if I toggle off volume view, yeah, I don't want to use the bumper because that's going to send me down the wrong path. Oh no. Is that right? Where are we now? we go. Hey, nice. Alright, so now we've got the volume line so we can switch back to normal view and now we're in slice mode instead of volume mode. Yeah, got on par. Nice. So, Slopes are not going to be flat. What are all these ghostly shadows? Even though objects aren't visible in your slice, their ghosts are still projected onto it. It's like a sixth sense for the four dimension. Some obstacles block your view. For example, hills in volume view may appear as walls. To help navigate, you can turn off the slicing and leave only ghost projections. It's mostly useful in volume view. Press 1 to toggle slicing. Walk to the crystals for more info. Alright, so I can walk up this slope, but if I turn to volume view, now there's no walls here. And now there's a, there's a plane. There's a crystal, I can walk to the crystal, but I can't get to the crystal in volume view. Okay, your screen is flat so everything is ultimately get projected on a 2D surface, so it's the same. Same crystal here. Things can sometimes look like they're floating. Oh no, it's a different crystal. Uh, let's see. Things can sometimes look like they're floating and disconnected, but can still be connected through the fourth dimension. One way to test this is by scanning your view in 4D. If the track can morph until it connects to another area, both are connected in reality. Okay, I'm gonna toggle to this crystal. Uh, since you can't see the whole 4D space, is the way the ghost projection show where objects are located in the dimensions you can't see. Okay, so if we're like over here and we rotate our view, we can see that it's connected over there through some slopes. Uh, and then if we toggle volume view, uh, now we can't. Uh, oh, I see. So these are connected in four dimensions through through slopes. And there's another one over here, another slope, and then there is the hole. So I'm going to 
toggled back out of volume view. Now I'm at the hole and uh, I can see I can see there how they're connected in 4D. But we have to make a right angle change. So let's go back to volume view. We want to go that way. Great. Oh yeah, well that's that's pretty good. Let's see. Maybe we can maybe we can hit that corner there. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and it's supposed to toggle slicing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I want to go around that corner. So the slicing is on there, but I can hit around the corner like so. How do they make this game? They made a video about it. There is uh, actually a series of videos. All right. Oh no. Now I should be able to uh, toggle back, yeah, yeah, toggle back into slicing view here. Oh no! Oh, so close! Oh, so close! Oh no! Hey, not too bad. Uh, it's basically made out of three-dimensional tetrahedrons instead of two-dimensional vertices. If ghost projections become too crowded, use a second sight to alter them. Press 2 to toggle ghost projections. So 1 toggles slicing on and off. 2 toggles ghost projections into wireframe and then entirely off. All right, let's toggle. Okay, so that's interesting. It's a couple of four dimensional holes I've got to get through here. Um, let's see. If I toggle slicing, uh, so there's no slopes in this in this case. What is that? Oh, it's an arch. That's cool. <laughs> and there's another archway over there. So let's see. If I toggle out of volume mode, turn slicing back on, and then hold down left click. Now I can see the archway. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's not aligned. Um, let's see. Can I... Yeah, I can rotate in four dimensions here. So now I should be able to see the archway. Yeah, there it is. Lined up with it. Okay. Back to volume view. Uh, back to putting. We want to go through that hole. And then we want to go through that hole. Uh oh. What happened there? having issues in 3D. What the hell is 4D? I don't have any idea. Yeah, yeah. They explained it in the in the tutorial, man. I don't know what your problem is. So here's volume view. This is all, this whole volume is a flat three-dimensional space. So this is all on the surface in four dimensions. 
Here, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna line this up with the hole here. So here we're putting on a flat, you can just think of this as a flat surface, right? So this is just like normal, normal golf. Oh no, bounced off it. Uh, let's see, there it is. Double bogey, uh, yeah. How did I go off the course earlier? That was weird. Did it bounce up off of something? I don't understand. Curves. One final but very important tool. You can find a lost ball or hole instantly so you don't have to always search for it. Oh, that's nice. To find the hole, press H, and find the ball, press B. All right, so here's the hole. And here's the ball. Here's the hole, and there's the ball. Nice. And here's the crystal. It's easy to reverse your compass with east and west swap, so a right turn can become a left turn. In fact, there's no way to tell a right shoe from a left shoe if it can be rotated through the fourth dimension. The real 40 shoes need differences in all four dimensions to be distinguishable. That makes sense. When a wall is angled in 4D, walking into it can cause you to slide in the fourth dimension so you see why this happens in the volume view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we walk here, there's an angled wall. We're going around the going around the corner. But in volume view, it's so much clearer. It's just a double, triple, it's a triple curve. Alright. Space bar. So we just wanna give this a good old a good old clonk. And we should uh, bounce through the course here. Let's switch back out of volume view, though. Whack. There we go. Bouncing through the course. Fantastic. XY is 2D. XYZ is 3D. 4D is XYZ uh, A, I think. It's Anna and Kata are the way that he does this. So, so here's... Here's moving in Anna, and here's moving in Kata. So if we press space and then press H, now we're lined up. Perfect. And in volume, uh, there's our, and if we just press H, then it lines us up. Yeah, perfect. So here we are. So what happened was we went through these curves here. We bounced through these curves. You could imagine it like being 3D golf. This is like 3D golf. If the course is flat, then it behaves like 3D golf in a volume. It's like zero gravity 3D golf or whatever. Hole. So here we're just putting toward the hole. X, Y, Z, A. Yeah, I think that's how he's doing it. Um. Ah! Almost got a birdie. Par. Oh well. Brain overclocked. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. That's the point of this game. It's 4D golf. If you had a bad putt, you can reset the ball while it's still rolling using R. Oh, is that what happened? I pressed R? It'll still count against your score. Okay. Alright, so here we are going up a slope. Uh, there's uh, some sort of volume. It's got a volume that's turn off slicing yeah so it's all connected it's all connected with the slope we just gotta give it a good old whack and uh, actually let's turn off volume view for a second go over to this crystal do you know the different compass styles to choose from the sending menu isoclinic shows the directions on the rim, just like a handheld compass. Stereographic shows the direction you're facing in the center, assuming we have a flight instrument. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I think we lined this up in volume view already, didn't we? Yeah. That's how we want to line up. Right there. Um, so now we can see that the whole course is connected. That's basically what we're doing. We just gotta putt all the way over that whole thing. So, let's line it up in volume view again, just to make sure. Right, and here we go. Oh, didn't 
make it all the way, but we made it a good part of the way. All right, let's go back to volume view. There's the hole, and we just press H. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty close shot. Oh, couldn't make it up the hill. Ah. All right. Okay. Oh no! Hey, it went out of the course. <laughs> the hole give it a putt oh, oh yes we made it finally made it okay double bogey wait a minute what about math over 4d it's uh it's the same it's exactly the same all right when locked to the ball try using the scroll wheel to zoom all the way out into vo in volume view seeing everything from far away is often the best way to figure out the 4d shape of the course so what is this? It looks impossible, but that's because you're thinking in three dimensions. All right, so uh, press space bar, scroll out. There we go. So it's it's just got a hole through the course there. It's not to worry about. Here, let's uh, let's align ourselves this way, and then we'll see how we can go around. See, it's not it's not so complicated. It's not so complicated. Oh, I see. I see. We gotta bounce off of this. No! It's not what we wanted at all. Okay, let's try again. There we go. We're in the right, we're in the right area anyway. No, we ended up right back in the center. Let's reset again. You can't reset? Huh. Okay. Let's see, maybe this way. There we go. volume, zoom out. Okay, so now we just gotta go back. So we, we've made it around the corner. Just gotta go back to the hole. Uh, let's go this way. Come out of volume view. Press H to align to the hole. And there we go. So we just, we made it around the corner. And now we just gotta hit this thing hard enough to get in the hole. Ah, oh, No! Ah, double bogey again. Man, if my kids are going to learn 4D math related things like geometry, I guess I'm not going to expect to get good grades. 4D shapes. 4D is painful. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. I like this. This is very cool. Use ghost color in the settings menu to indicate if a ghost projection is above or below your slice. Ghost color. A warm color means you should rotate up in 4D in Anna direction to find the object and a cool color means you should rotate down. It can be hard to tell which direction. Okay. Settings. Graphics. Gameplay. Ghost color. Uh, orange blue. There we go. Oh, nice. So now, uh, down is blue, and up is orange. And then these directions just don't get mapped. Alright, so, 
uh, spacebar, volume, scroll out. So if we just bounce off that way, then we'll get right on through. Fantastic. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's line up with the with the windmill so we can actually see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Ooh, unlocked a bunch of courses. Oh, it's because we completed the tutorial. Evergreens challenge the dunes in the level editor. Nice. There we go. Oh, that's a very unceremonious end. I feel my brain is 4D because I'm not feeling the existence of 3D. <laughs> Gone. Stolen. Okay. Nice. Course type. 18 hole. Single hole practice. Play mode golf. We got it. Complete beyond. Dunes. Evergreens. Oh, I see. So there's nine hole. Eighteen hole. Got the evergreens. But that's the one we just did, I think. Evergreens challenge. Layers. All the all of the cosmetics are locked. Okay. Evergreens challenge. Play. Cylinders. What does this have to say? In this level, you see three cylinders that exist in 4D. The sphere spherinder is most analogous to a 3D cylinder, made by extruding a sphere into the fourth dimension. Okay, makes sense. The cubinder is made by extruding a cylinder into 4D. Uh, a slice that looks like a cube. I think you mean a, a cube into 4D. I think I found a bug. Lastly, the duo cylinder is a Cartesian product of two orthogonal disks. It only has two sides and the slices usually really look more cylinder-like. Two orthogonal disks. Oh, okay, okay. Is there, so, but there's, there's no duo cylinders in this one. Oh, oh, the, all three cylinders, okay. So, uh, if I go to volume mode, scroll out here. We've got a sphere, a cylinder, and uh, and over there is the duo cylinder, probably. Um, so we want to bounce off this way. We want to bounce off it like that, probably. Give it a good old whack. Oh, almost made it. Almost. All right, well, now we just gotta hope. Oh no, came back in. Uh, maybe like this, bounce off here. 4D is too boring going for 5D. Yeah, good plan, man. Uh, what is that? I, saw, I thought I saw like a little, little uh, thing somewhere. Let's see, can we see the hole yet? We can! Oh, is it? No, we can't get in. Um, all right, I have to, I have to go like this. Now, here we are. Par. Hey, not too bad. Gravity logic has left the chat. <laughs> A trefoil! Oh, nice! Yeah, nice! 
beautiful. Uh, but there is, um, there's a wall there. So if I go back to volume view and I go to the hole, yeah, there's a wall. So we have to go all the way back around. We have to go all the way back around. So let's see. Uh, this goes there. This goes there. I think it's uh, mono. It's a mono connected volume here. So if we just go this way and give it a good old clonk. go and just keep on keep on going yeah this is a mono connected space mm, maybe line it up like this boom yep yep good good Yes, there we go. All right, so now we're back here, and we can hit the hole. Perfect. Oh yeah, birdie! Nice. Ah, uh, staircase. Ooh. Well, um, looks like. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's just a staircase. We just gotta not go off the edge at this point. Um, maybe we should clip off of this thing here, just so we don't. There we go. Yeah, nice. Just so we don't go off the edge. Uh, we should probably be able to go here. Oh no! Haha! <laughs> we did we go off the edge. Uh oh oh. Yeah, yeah, we should we should realign here. Should realign so that we're not going uh anti-planar here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um Staying on the course, great. Gravity on 4D is literally something else. I think gravity would be much stronger close to a large object that would grow weaker faster. Uh ha. Huh. Well, so gravity is a curvature of space-time. So I, I don't think it would... You know, that's possible. It's possible that it would, it would, uh, it would degrade faster. Bogey. We don't know how big the planet is that that this 4D golf course is on, though. So, and there's also more space for mass in a 4D space, right? All right, what does the crystal have to say? The barriers in this level are actually cones, so you'll see them in different conic sections in the slice view. Circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. All right. Well, um, looks like that angle is going to be about right. Uh, I want to try to 
to go around around all the cones here. Maybe like that. Let's see what happens. Oh, almost almost made it. All right. That's in the way. But we can bounce off like this. There we go. Yeah, all right. Me to the other side. Par. Hey, cat's back. Welcome back, cat. Bridging the gap. Okay, we got some bridges. Um Looks like this is pretty straightforward actually. It's just a uh, yeah, it's just a couple of orthogonal volumes. Yeah, nothing, nothing hard about that. All right, let's align this this way, and uh, turn off slicing. go nice and then if we just align to the hole uh, and then rotate okay yeah we're not there yet so let's go over here We stayed in the course. Nice. All right. So now, if we line to the hole, it's over there. So let's aim for that. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, not good. Okay. Oh, no. No. No, it's too hard. I keep hitting it too hard. No. All right, here, let's let's go this way. There we go. Now we should be able to line to the hole. Aligned. Let's try this. No! Gotta hit it harder now. There we go. No! <laughs> I didn't make it in. There we go. Yeah. Made it into the other volume. Yikes. Stroke 12. That's not good at all. Ah, oh, seven over. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was horrible. Oh. I just realized how they made the game. Cat just realized he had a, a brain thing. All right, I forgot to read the name of this course. Is there a crystal? There's no crystal. There's a hole in the middle of the course. Look at that. There's a bunch of bunch of objects all over. Where's the hole go? Ah, there it is, behind that. Behind that thing. Um, let's bounce off of this right here. Oh, oh no, oh no, don't oh don't go in there. Oof. Alright, where's the hole again? Oh, can we make it? Let's align so there's no hole. There we go. No hole anymore, the hole's gone. Or, uh, no, yeah, no hole on the course. There is a hole for our 
golf ball. Yeah, birdie. Got it. Labyrinth. Ooh. All right. All right. What's going on here? There's the hole. Um, and it comes out like that. Over like that. Nope. Not like that. Gotta get around this corner is the first thing. Hope it'll go up or down. That's a good question. Uh, there's the hole. It goes out to the left there. And that comes over that way. And that goes over that way. It goes over that way. So we want to go off like this. go. Perfect. And then uh, I have to try to bank it off of here. Let's align this and come back out of volume view. Yeah, so there we go. So just got to bank it in like uh, so. See, I'm trying to get the angles right here. too hard oh that's good though that was so good yeah birdie gen gamers yeah i remember you yeah why were you streaming for a while uh i was doing other stuff i was i played um i played in shrouded with my wife for a while but the kids are kind of noisy and she's playing in the house, I'm playing out in the office, so the kids are kind of noisy in the house, and we didn't want to, like, stream our, um, family drama, let's say. <laughs> so, so that's part of it. And also, uh, it was usually not at a good time for streaming, um, for most of you guys, I think, because it was, like, in the morning during school. Uh, so anyway, so we just, we didn't stream for a while, but we were, I mean, we were still playing games and stuff, it was just, uh, Let's go golfing! Let's do 40 golfing! Alright. Volume. This looks pretty flat. Um, we've got some, some baffles there. Let's see. If we align it just like this, we should be able to see all the holes in the baffles. Yes. Yes. too bad. Not too bad. Go back to volume view. Uh, we want to get to the hole. I don't think that we're going to be able to make it through all the way. But we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to make it a, a good part of the way here. As long as we don't hit it too hard. There we go. Now we can hit the hole. Oh yeah! Birdie! Made it! Nice. Alright, one more. Check out my Simp World. S O Odo's um, uh, single multi- uh, survival multiplayer. Uh, I could. Let's see, what is going on here? What is going on here? We've got a slope. We've got, oh man, this is a very extensive course. Par 11. Got to jump. Yikes. 
Sports. Um, so we want to go around on the corner that way. Yikes. 4D Golf. Let's, let's give it a whack here. Oh, this is too hard. It was too hard. Um, maybe if we hit it on this corner. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. And then we'll realign with this. bad. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a little slope here. I like how the tenor of the music changes as you align and de-align with the hole. That is very cool. Uh, okay. Don't want to go off the slope. There's no, there's no edges here. That's fine, because we don't need him. Okay. <laughs> that is cool. A very slight slope here. Uh, and going into there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there we go. There, yeah, they're perfect. Go around the corner. And then uh, oh but we went we went too far. We gotta, we gotta bounce off somewhere. Um actually that's not too bad, probably. Mmm. This will work. Let's give it a good old clock. And see what happens. No, we're trapped. Ah. All right. Well, maybe this will work. Now we're just gonna just gonna give it a little hit. Try to get around the corner. Oh, it's too far again. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. We can do this. Oh no! Too hard. Ah! So close. Nope. Not far enough. There we go. Made it. Okay. Stroke 11. Ah, we're still so far away. Um. Got a couple slopes here. Bounce out of the course on the fourth dimension. No. Ah. All right. It's, the alignment is good. Just gotta. Maybe we can do it like this. Yeah. No. <laughs>
There we go. We'll just make it over the hump. That's fine. That's that's great. That's what we should have done in the first place. Okay. Now we got to go through the loop, through this spirally loop thing. Let's see if we can get a view where we can actually see the loop. There we go. All right. Great. Yeah. Made it. Okay. And, uh, there's the hole. We gotta first go... Oh, we gotta go across this zero-edge squiggly thing. Is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. Yeah, we should be able to get through that. Can we aim very carefully? Yeah. No! It's, it went off the end! To realign in the middle? Are you kidding me? There's the hole. Uh, maybe like this. No, don't go back down the. No, don't go back down the slope. No, don't, 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 don't. Ah! Did it too hard. All right. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Okay, don't go back down the slope. Stroke 23. 12 over. Ugh. This game is too confusing for my brain, says Gen Gamers. Yeah, I, I know how you feel, man. There we unlock the Oak Ball. Nice. Alright, let's go, let's change to the Oak Ball. Nice. We completed the Evergreens Challenge. We didn't do it very well, but we did complete it. Let's do the Dunes. Oh, so now we can do... I see. We can do the, the Evergreen Challenge. And play each hole. Try to get, like, better. So, like, we can play this one. And align with the hole. So this is just a, a good old... It's a good old thing. So we should be able to get a hole in one. Try again. Oh yeah, nice. Hole in one. Perfect. So now we can just go back to the main menu. And do single hole practice for that one. Volume mode, rotate this way, back into 2D, there's the hole, I want to bounce off, let's see, to go, I can't point with my finger, I want to go Like that, maybe. Can we go like this? Let's see. Those would, that's gonna click the corner. This might work though. There we go. Align with the hole. That's how you get the, the single holes. 18 hole evergreens. We've already done all 18 holes the evergreens. Uh, we haven't done the dunes yet. Oh, I see. The evergreens challenge is the back nine of the evergreens. Got it. Got it. Alright. Dunes. 
Here we go. When you have time to check out my world, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm pleased with your progress so far, it says. Miniature golf isn't for the faint of heart. It's a divine ritual. All watchers must master. Uh-huh. It's very profound, I'm sure. So as I've given you are essential for understanding this universe. Use your new powers wisely, human, and good luck. All right. Banked turns. Ooh. Nice. So I've noticed that I don't have to turn on, uh, turn off slice mode anymore because I've got the ghosting. Ghosting, very nice. So uh, we just gotta bank it around that, and then bank it around the other one. Yeah. But let's go talk to the crystal, see what it says. When the sun is out of your hyperplane, you need to change your view to see it. Even if you can't see the sun in the sky, you'll still be able to see all the reflected light. Ah. Okay. Where is the sun? The other turn. Uh, like that, maybe. Yep. There we go. Oh! Oh, so close. There we go. Made it in par. Can't distract the dad, yeah. I don't have a huge amount of time today. I've got some other stuff I gotta do later, so I wanna wanna get as much 4D golf in as I can. Alright, this looks like it's a mostly flat course. It's just got a bunch of obstacles in the way. Oh, but they're not, uh, they're not actual obstacles, they're just, like, little, little lumps. It's gonna make your putt all weird. So maybe we can give it a good old whack and get around this stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shadow on the ground without a track casting it. it means the sun is shifted in the fourth dimension. A full three dimensional shadow is there, but you slice might not include the shadow and track together. The same thing happens when a track appears without a shadow. Ah. Yeah, so there we can see the shadow of the track without the track. because otherwise it's going to go over the edge. No! There we go. There we go. Now we're in this volume. So we just got to rotate it around. And there's the hole. Uh, 
edge, but I don't know if I can have a choice. Hey, there we go. Nice. Not too bad. Oh. Got lost reading about 4D and now I don't feel so good. <laughs> this is Nerplex. Your house in the one block server is still there? Okay. Oh, so that's the shape of this thing. Ooh. What is that? It's a... It's a toroidal... It's a toroidal thing. There's another one. It's a face! It's a toroidal face! Let me flip all the way around. Should be able to see it from the other direction. No? <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Uh, we just gotta go up the slopes here. There we go. Launch right off the track, isn't it? Yep, right off the track. Maybe I can go like this. There we go, that's not too bad. Gives us a larger landing space. And then, same thing with this. Ah, no. Oh no, don't go back down! Don't go back down! No, no! 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 Oh. Man. Okay. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's no path there. Um. Come on! No! We're back where we started! Ah, no, it's almost right. It's almost right. Oh, oh, the slope threw us off. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We got it now. Triple bogey. Got there though. Is it possible you go to completely out of the 3D universe in this game? No. Uh, so the 3D universe is a, actually a 3D slice of a 4D world. So you can't leave the world um, unless you were two-dimensional and there was only four-dimensional objects along. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. I think I see what you mean. I think he's designed it so that it's not possible for you to enter a slice of the four-dimensional universe that has no 3D objects in it. It's a famous optical illusion of a vase that looks like two faces from the side known as a Rubens vase. But closely in the bruises, you'll find one of these vases. In four dimensions, the illusion becomes a two 3D faces looking at each other, but this vase couldn't hold any water. Yeah. I think we saw the Rubens vase, um... Elsewhere. I think we saw the Rubens vase, uh... Somewhere else. Here's a... Here's a pyramidal volume. It's got a hole in the middle. It's got a four-dimensional hole in the middle. And there's the Rubens vase. The two faces looking at each other, which are actually connected together. It's only one face in actuality. All right, let's stop messing around here and make a thing happen. Where's the hole? side somehow. Hmm. Let's 
Let's see about this. No! Came right back. Even worse than we started. It's an even worse lie than we started on. Okay, there we go. Made around the corner. Just gotta go up above. Right? Yeah. In fact, let's let's slice it so that we can see what we're doing here. We're gonna go over there. There we go. And up over there. So let's go. Oh no, back around. We went all the way back around. Uh, yeah, we went all the way back around. That was dumb. There we go. Okay, now we're on the right side. So now if we line to the hole, we should be able to just cut right into it. Yeah, perfect. Double bogey, but we got there. We got there in the end. Do you feast in Ramadan, Paul? No, I don't. I'm uh, Right now we're in Easter, or we're, uh, we're not in Easter yet. We're in um, Lent, which is our time of fasting, uh, when we don't eat food. Or, I mean, we eat some, but it's it's different from, from uh, Muslims. But, um, so right now is is Easter. It's coming up on Holy Week. This Sunday is the last uh, Sunday. This is the start of Holy Week. And then after Easter is the, is the feast of, is the feast of Easter. So, and I think that's, uh, I'm not sure when Ramadan is, but it's, they don't align. At least not this year. His bald, because his follicles were blocking his brain from growing. <laughs> no, I, I shaved actually. I'm I bald on top because uh, I don't know. This is something. All right. What are we doing here? There is the hole, and then there's a big old thing. There's a big old thing where you can't uh, you can't get around. Yeah, so if you go off the other end, then you end up falling down the hole. So we want to go up here. Hopefully. Yeah! Oh! No! Oh, it's, it's, almost, it's almost perfect. Oh, that was perfect, but it wasn't perfect. Okay, let's try again. Oh, no! Bounced out. Okay, okay, no, now it's going down the other way. No. All right, maybe we can bounce off the wall like this. Okay, that's not too bad. No, it is too bad. Ah. <laughs> Paul is stronger than Vsauce. I don't know about that, man. I've never, uh, I've never tested that. That seems like an untested prediction. Oh, maybe we can, like, ramp it right over there? No, we better be. Better play it safe. Oh, there we go! There we go. All right, now. Now, there's the hole. Uh, we just gotta be careful not to go off the end. Is there a, is there a back on any of these? No, there is not. There is not a back on any of these, in any of these dimensions. Alright, well, I'll just give it a shot, I guess. Oh, so close! Come on, go over! No, I didn't go over! Hey, Han! Come on, 
Go over. Yes, went over. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Clip the hole. Perfect. Didn't go off the end. Fantastic. Five over. But we got there in the end. What are we looking at here? Got a couple ramps. Hmm. Maybe like that. Oh. We're going to align so that we don't go off the edge of the course in four dimensions. Okay, now should be able to. Oh no, it's not. Is it off the edge, or is it just like a sand trap? Let's find out. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's just a sand trap. That's fine. Yeah, you can't putt very far. Ah, the hole keeps disappearing. Okay. Yeah. It's right in between those two slopes. So we gotta put a little low. Oh. Okay, we're on the slope. Uh, so now... Oh, no, we're not on the slope. <laughs> so close. Four over. The hole keeps disappearing. Skull emoji, yeah. There's 4D Minecraft as well? Oh, that's cool. Okay. There's the hole. Uh, looks like it's connected both ways. Let's go this way. I wonder if we can launch over, that would be fun. Yeah. Okay. And then that should connect to the hole. Perfect. Oh! No! Back down the slope! slope is is in calf so we've got to aim a little low a little low yeah I made it <laughs> Paul looks like Lennon for real like Lennon he's the same oh man okay well uh, I've been likened to Lennon now I was I was likened to Lex Luthor from Batman um, I'm not sure which one I like I like worse <laughs> uh, let's see all right so we've got a bunch of holes so this is all gonna it's all gonna slope down or up. Uh, Alright, well, let's see how we do here. Oh, not bad. Not good enough, though. Uh, the son of Lenin? Yikes, man. It's a real yikes. Um, maybe. No, it's too hard again. Ah. Uh, We gotta get a, we gotta get a rotation so that. Uh, 
You're almost through Ramadan now? Ah, it keeps going over. Gotta be a fast forward button so you can just like get to the end of this ball rolling around the 4D golf course. Maybe like this? Oh! Oh! Yes! Aha! I made it! Alright. Nice. Now we just gotta go downhill to the hole. Uh, oh. Okay. But, it's on top of a slope. And there's some chunky things here. These. Oh, they're hovering above the course. There we go. Nice. No! Oh! Five over. Ah. Uh. But we finished it. The Sands of Time. Cool. Unlocked a couple more courses. All right. I think that's going to be it for me today. Nerplex, don't torment the Islamists. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me for 40 Golf. Han, Nerplex. Gen Gamers, Cat was in here earlier. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna call it a day, and uh, enjoy Ramadan. <laughs>